This is not a video about how to make curry paste. That topic would have to cover questions like mortar and pestle or food processor, red or green, what are the non-negotiable ingredients and which ones are substitutable. But this is not a video about how to make curry paste, it's a video about how to use curry paste. If I make a pint of red Thai curry paste just to plop one tablespoon into a pot of coconut milk, there's still more than a cup left over. You can freeze it, either in small Ziploc bags or in individual cubes, but this video aims to convince you that you don't have to wait for another curry craving just to bust it out again. This paste is spicy, tangy, flavorful, and salty, all marks of a good marinade. Rub some of it on salted chicken and let that sit together in the fridge overnight. Bonus points for mixing the curry paste into a fatty conduit first to distribute the paste more evenly, like oil, mayo, plain whole milk, yogurt, or coconut milk. But marinating meats requires foresight. You know what doesn't? Using curry paste to flavor the meat instantly, provided it's been minced up. This is plain ground pork. Mix some curry paste in and now it's a flavorful freeform sausage with tons of delicious Thai flavor. I can't tell you how much to use since each paste recipe varies in amount of spice and saltiness, so before you commit to a final ratio, cook a little piece of the sausage and give it a taste. You might need to add more paste, or in this case, just more salt. Cook this as crumbles or as patties and serve them as a snack, either plain or in a lettuce wrap or as a meal on top of a salad or rice. I really wanna drive home how fruitful the curry paste plus ground meat formula can be, so here's a more involved example. Grind up a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp and season that with a few spoonfuls of curry paste. Smear that ground shrimp onto a piece of cheap, soft white bread and use a butter knife or offset spatula to get a good seal between the meat and the bread. If done with finesse, both bread and shrimp should exist in equal thicknesses and fuse together at every edge. The shrimpy side will be incredibly sticky. Hit it with a heavy shower of sesame seeds before cutting each slice into quarters. A quick two minute fry in 350 degree neutral flavored oil makes a crispy, flavorful shrimp toast out of just a few basic components. Let them cool off a little bit on a wire rack before eating. This gives you the perfect amount of time to pour yourself a beer. How about a raw application? A single spoonful of curry paste can add a ton of flavor to a basic vinaigrette. That amped up vinaigrette can then be used to bring brightness and spice to a boring salad or even a salmon crudo if you're into that sort of thing. Too highfalutin? Just mix curry paste into plain mayonnaise and use that semi-homemade sauce as a sandwich condiment or as a dipping sauce for french fries. I've made at least two videos about ceviche on this channel because it's so easy. Soak white fish or shrimp chunks into a big bowl full of lime juice for half an hour and you've got ceviche. But if you mix a spoonful of curry paste into that lime juice first, you'll be introducing a ton of depth with very little effort. The final trick I'll suggest is to oil a pan over medium low heat, spread some curry paste in, and fry an egg in it. Why not? All of these applications do work with store-bought curry paste, but a food that contains so many vibrant ingredients like alliums, rhizomes, and citrus is predictably a hundred times better when made fresh. There's only three real reasons why you wouldn't make your own. One, you haven't tried it yet, so you aren't aware of the huge difference it makes. Two, you never know how to use it all up, which was just covered. And three, you don't have an Asian market in your city and can't find the requisite ingredients. Even then, just hit Home Depot and buy a pot of cilantro for the roots and lemongrass for the stalks. I've had my unkillable lemongrass plant for at least five years, and it's been a far more reliable source than the grocery store. So let this be the moment that curry paste and coconut milk were decoupled as a mandatory pairing. Peanut butter can exist without jelly. Imagine a world in which Ali could thrive without AJ, lamb without tuna fish, internet Shaquille video endings without self-referential literary devices stretched so thin that they can barely fit into one breath. Ah, utopia. Athletic Greens has paid to be mentioned at the end of this video. Athletic Greens is the company behind AG1, the nutritional drink that packs a bunch of benefits into one daily serving. I actually avoided this stuff for a long time, assuming that it was functionally the same as the greens powders that you can buy at any grocery store, but it's actually got 75 ingredients like vitamins, mushrooms, enzymes, and spirulina, while tasting, in my opinion, far better than those store-bought greens powders. It stands alone as its own beverage that you don't need to blend into a smoothie to make palatable. I think that there are at least a dozen reasons why someone who's way smarter than me about nutrition and supplements might try AG1. 
probiotics for digestion, B12 for energy, biotin for beauty. But as someone who doesn't even have so much as a multivitamin every day, I just like having a new habit to feel good about. I shake one scoop of AG1 into a cup of ice water as soon as I wake up, before breakfast, before coffee, and it feels nice to do my body a little favor first thing in the morning. If you wanna give it a try, go to athleticgreens.com slash internet Shaquille to get started on your first order. If you use that link, Athletic Greens is gonna send you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash internet Shaquille.